Derek, do you want to? Not now, Squirt. Dad, do we have any string? Kelly, I was wondering if you want. Sorry, Bobby, I don't have the time. Mom, this is like a totally big deal. Where are the extra down pillows? Dad? Bobby, have you seen the ball of string? No, Dad, can we? Derek, I don't know why you waited till the last minute to do your science experiment. Han, have you seen the ball of string? I've got the pillows, Kel. Mom? Howard, did you try that kitchen drawer? I used it to tie that turkey's legs together, don't you know? I'll get it. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> like, totally happy birthday, Amber. <laughs> Am I invisible? <laughs> neener, neener, neener. <laughs> what is your damage, Bobby? Guess not. <laughs> Come on, party HQ is up in my room. Kelly, can I? And no boys under 16. Allowed. Wish I was having a sleepover. I'll get it! Think again, dweebster. Oh, great! You brought the lawn clippings. Come on, let's get thrashing. Out of the way, squirt! You can always tell when brothers and sisters are gonna do fun stuff, because they don't want you hanging around with them. What's the matter, Bobby? You look like an overcooked turnip is all. Kelly and Derek won't let me play with them. Nobody will do anything with me. Well, honey, sometimes your big brother and sister want to do things with their friends, you know? I know what you could do for fun, sweetie. Why don't you sit down with a book? Ah! No, no, I'd rather play with my toys. Sometimes I think grown-ups forget what fun is. Ah! Toys are toys. They're never around when you need them. No, not that one. Thought I had that one. No, not that one. Ta-da! <laughs> Captain Squash! My bestest friend. He never lets me down when there's nothing to do. Look out, Captain Squash! Shouldn't we use the instruction book on that, Bobby? One well, last turn on Hubble. My Uncle Ted says, if you need the instruction book, it can't be fixed. I fixed it! I can see the eye. Yikes! Let go of my telescope. Bobby finally got it working. Yeah. You, you better let go of Hubble's telescope or... Fun? What's the challenge? We've done this already. I'm bored. Now, Stinky O'Brien down the street's got a great fantasy going. See ya. Hey, wait for me! Who needs Captain Squash anyway, Roger? Hmm. Now what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Sitting down with a book when I can play Mighty Bobby Babe? It's the bottom of the ninth. Bases are loaded, and Bobby's team is losing by three runs. Need it, he needs to spank that pill out of the park for a grand slam home run. Come on, get a hit! Hit a home run! Come on, hit a grand slam home run! Here comes the three and two pitch. That's a strike. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, strike three, you're out! What? Hey, Bobo, whenever you play Mighty Bobby Babe, you always hit a home run to win the game. Well, it's really boring, so the game's over. None of my ventures is any fun, Webley. Wait! That's it! Webley! The best friend any kid can have on a venture. We're trapped! There's
there's no escape, we're doomed. No one can save us. Except maybe a bad guy turned good guy. You're not just a mere assistant? Why disguise? Here, grab a ring. There's plenty for all. Wow! Thanks, Bobby. You're a saint. I know. Bobby the saint. <laughs> I will pull you out of the pit of doom in a flash. Tuck! Tuck! Uh, hello? We are not moving! Tuck! What's wrong, Webby? <sighs> oh, no, Webby. You're bored, too! having fun. They won't let me play with them because I'm little. I'm tired of being a little kid. I want to be with the big kids. <laughs> Did you ever notice that moms are always around when you don't need them? Well, what's the gee golly rush secretariat? Can't wait to have fun by yourself or what? You have to have other people around to have fun. And the older the other people, the more fun. Uh, 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 rain it in there, Trigger. Just cool your jets. You'd be bored hanging around with those older kids. Why don't you sit down with a book and... No! I'm gonna play with the big kids if it's the last thing I do. I'm gonna play with the big kids. I'm gonna play with the big kids. Five, six, seven. Wow. Sounds like Derek's having a lot of fun. I wonder what he's doing. It's times like these when a kid could use X-ray vision. Five, four, three, two. Sign says, I can't read. Hey, Derek! 25, 26. Oh, sorry. Hey, you're wrecking our science project. We're counting cricket chirps. It's nothing you need to know. It's nothing anybody needs to know. Mom! Bobby's bugging us! Ah! That's where the action is. Kelly's room. <laughs> Boy, that sounds like... It sounds like they're on a roller coaster. stuff you were doing. Okay, okay, so like I was saying, so now that you're sweet 16, Tiff, are your parents gonna let you get that tattoo? Don't even go there. Go there! That's what you were doing? Yeah. <sighs> B 
Bobby! Boy, the big kids aren't any fun. What can I do? What's fun? There's no one to play with. Played with every one of my toys. favorite book. The Uncle with the Carbuncle. Right, by Dr. Bruce. You Jeep Gally read his rhymes along with me so many times. I bet you can look at the pictures and read along all by yourself. Oh no! I never thought it would come to this, Roger. I'm old enough to read a book by myself. Come on, Bobby, give it a try. Captain Squash, you're back. Of course I am. There's nothing like a good book to take you on a great adventure. Okay, I'll give it a try. Roger, Webley, Captain Squash, are you ready to hear a story? <laughs> the Uncle with the Carbuncle. On a colorful world, far, far away, lived a little boy. No one would play with him, not even a toy. He wanted to play with his sister, but she told him to stay away. He wanted to play with his brother, but he just said, Go play with another. The little boy was bored. He had nothing to do. Suddenly there was a knock. So to the door he flew. I'm your uncle with the carbuncle. What's the matter with you? No one will play with me. I have nothing to do. I can help you with that. I've got a plan. If you feed me some blue eggs, blue eggs with Stan. Stan who? Asked the boy. You sound like an owl. Captain Stan's here to help you. No need to scowl. Where do you get blue eggs? He asked with a grin. That's easy to answer. From a blue chicken. Which reminds me of a riddle. As I pose on one leg, which came first, the blue chicken or the blue egg? You said you were hungry. 
Finally, I fulfilled your demand. Here's your blue eggs. Blue eggs with Stan. Ah, that was good. Now what shall we do? I have an idea. Let's take a nap. While he sprang from his seat, his face still blue, you promised to help me. I still have nothing to do. Oh, that's an oops. The uncle with the carbuncle said. Just say the magic words. Then pop into your head. Magic words? He blurted out loud. And the words came out and formed a large crowd. Not the words I had in mind. There were others I was hoping you knew. But it's close enough for magic, so here's something to do. Hello there, I am Meeker, and this is my friend Snurd. People think that we are brothers, which is really quite absurd. He is the comic genius, the one with all the brains. Moi? Oh no! I'm Billy Crystal to your Robin Williams. Then Snurr turned to Meeker. Did you notice the lad's face is blue? That's easy to explain, said the boy. I've got nothing to do. They shouted and danced for next to the flu. Nothing to do is our favorite thing to do. I've got just the ticket with this remote control. For changing channels? No, that is far too droll. It is a revolt control, if you will pardon the pun. For changing what's bad to good, what is boring to fun. Now take those dirty dishes. He said with a wink, and he zapped those dirty dishes, the ones in the sink. And what looked like work became a creation. If dishes got so clean, you could see your reflection. See what we mean? Then here is some more. The wall's not a wall. That wall's now a floor. <laughs> when it comes to fun, and I do not jest, there's none better than you. No, no, no. You are the best. You see, little boy, this enchanted remote casts magical charms, not ordinary spells. It brings things to life and makes funny smells. <laughs> The boy giggled and laughed, then grabbed the uncle's hat. It is a funny smell. And here's more fun like that. They played games of skill and games of fun. They played games like tag, but he had to run. You're not it. Something's not right. The last word doesn't rhyme. You said right is wrong. Tag, I'm it. Mm, okay, but just this time, you're it! <laughs> Woo! You're it. Gotcha! Kick the can. <laughs> By now you have gathered. What's down is up. Well, then I don't have to warn you. Don't pour water into that cup. You've got a big problem when a no means a yes. How to stop Meeker and Slurd? Hey! Your room's a mess. Huh? Your stuff. It's all over the place. Sounds like you were having a great time, too. With all the laughing and giggling. Can we hang with you? Yeah, can we, like, play? Play? I'm reading. Okay, okay, everybody. Go back to your rooms. There is nothing more to see here. What in the blazes of Sam Houston is going on in here, for the cry eye? You were right. I was a schnook. I should have listened when you said go read a book. Oh, that's a good rhyme, Bobby, little manzy. But it's time to turn off the nightlight and go to sleep. Did you like the book? Uh, it was okay. It's really hard for kids to admit to parents that they were right. Good night, sweetie. Good night, Mom. Uh, Mom, books are really good for using your imagination. Oh, you got that right, honey. Now go to sleep. Where was I? Oh, yes, in a topsy-turvy world. Where what's bad <laughs> is good, and what's boring is fun. A world of opposites that's in your imagination. <laughs>